Welcome back. You're watching today and citrus growers in South Africa are concerned about the latest EU trade regulations on the local industry. The measures imposed in 2022 require an enhanced cold treatment for citrus exposed to citrus black spot, a fungal disease which leaves dark spots on fruit. The Citrus Growers Association of South Africa says that this is threatening thousands of jobs in the sector. Now they're asking for the president to intervene. For more on this, we're joined by Dion Hubert from the Association. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Dion. And I mean, something that the Citrus Growers Association has been lamenting for months now, uh, that the industry cannot handle the costs associated with this kind of change. And there was a call for Minister um, um, uh, Ibrahim Patel, rather, to get involved in discussions with the EU on this regulation. Did those discussions ever happen? And if they did, they were obviously unfruitful? Good afternoon. Yes, thank you for your time. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, I think your point is exactly right made, that we've had uh, this issue for the last 10 years, and uh, we haven't seemed to have made any, uh, any way forward to try and solve the problem. I mean, uh, just as a short intro, I mean, we've been exporting to Europe for more than 100 years, and no, nowhere, and note to that time, that this black spot ever established anywhere in Europe. And the world science have agreed everywhere, the American, uh, South African, Brazilian, uh, Australian, all you need is that black spot is not, is not possible to, to get spread through the fruit. Fruit can't be a pathway. But yet we've been going down this road for the last 10 years and the EU is continuously putting more and more stricter rules on South African fruit. At the moment, it just means that the very large portion of our fruit cannot go to the EU which is perfectly, uh, it's, an, it's cosmetically beautiful, it's very, very uh, tasty, and the EU buys uh, up to about 48%, so the consumers clearly love it. So the EU's got these stupid rules at the moment, which makes no sense, and they're just making it more and more difficult. And we, at the moment, we're in the position that virtually half the industry, or 70,000 jobs and about 15 billion rand of income, is under threat of sustaining it. It's just, you know, we're just at a point where it doesn't make sense to spend all this money to get into Europe. Yeah, and I mean, just for the um, context of the viewer, it's these almost super fridges that the European Union is looking to secure uh, from exporters when it comes to the citrus. The cost to the farmers or the producers in this regard, uh, tell us a little bit about that because um, we've seen over the last three years with the pandemic, the geopolitical developments, a lot of food producers have been under pressure and the cost of the um, amendments that the EU is uh, demanding are going to be unsustainable for producers. Thank you. Yeah, true. Uh, absolutely. The point is 100% right made. Uh, currently, we are uh, uh, the cost of exporting to Europe is additional from any other market, about 3.7 billion. So it's utter nonsense. I mean, that's become on the back of uh, one regulation after the other, just to make it more, uh, the more difficult to access. And uh, the issue is that uh, the skull treatment that they've now forked out doesn't uh, even start to address the, uh, the so-called risk mitigation. Uh, I mean, just the point that we've been exporting to Europe for more than 100 years, there's never been a case. It just shows you what other nonsense this is they're trying to administrate. And uh, it's making, uh, I mean, we've got such, such a wonderful and a proud uh, industry doing so wonderfully well in the rural areas by, you know, giving... 140,000 people jobs. So, I mean, this is just, just absolute rubbish. And the, the EU and the, 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 the government has been really good. And they've taken the EU to, to, to task on the FCM, one of the other issues that they sort of pursuing. So it just looks like a real fortress, fortress in Europe trying to keep fruit out. If it was that South African fruit was not, uh, you know, uh, sought after or liked or wanted to buy, that would be, you know, I could understand that. But, I mean, the guys are running. We're just 6.4% of the, of the market. We're really small. We're out of season, counter season, and the fruit is brilliant. So, uh, no, we're really seeking some assistance from the government here. They've, they've been on record to say that CBS is not a notifiable disease. It's, it's, you know, world science agreed. So the EU is just on their own pathway, uh, on, on the way to nowhere.
Yeah, and of course, uh, you are calling uh, for the president or the government at large to um, take a strong stand against this um, at the risk of communities Absolutely. completely being shattered and, of course, approaching the World Trade Organization to declare some form of dispute. What is the likelihood that this might happen, Dion? Well, the, the, the government, I mean, the government's position is clear that this is uh, it's a trade uh, restriction, nothing to do with plant health. So, and they've tried, I mean, the government has really tried to find a uh, amicable solution with the EU for the last eight or nine years. But the EU is just, I mean, as I said, they're just on a, on a geopolitical uh, position, I think. Uh, in, and the funny part is that they're not doing uh, Spain or, or, or the Southern Europe producers any good genetically because uh, we, our fruit is out of season. And what you really want, consumers in Europe want, you want them to stay loyal to citrus and eat it right through the year. Mm -hmm. And I think they eat, I mean, they just love the South African fruit. So, um, no, uh, the government, I think, is serious. Uh, Mr. Patel last year were particularly strong and, and thinking on the EU. And we hope that the president, uh, Minister uh, Ramaphosa, oh, Minister Patel and Minister uh, the Deez, the Minister of Agriculture, which are very sympathetic to the cause and, of course, the amount of, uh, of jobs and, uh, you know, 30 billion rand of foreign revenue that we earn every year, which is wonderful for this country, you know, can stay put. Mm. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that update. Uh, that is Mr. Dion Hubert from the association uh, there, uh, the Citrus Growers Association, speaking about that impasse, that regulation that the EU is calling for when it comes to the cold storage or the alteration of cold storage, which not only will cost the producers a lot more when it comes to sending the fruit over to the EU, but also communities that benefit from the economy that has created that um, or the economic growth that's created in this space.